royal lord, you do not give the cheer. Oh, sweet remembrance, sir. Now, good digestion, weight on appetite, and health on both. Please, Your Highness, grace us with your royal company. May it please, Your Highness, sit. Well, the table's full. Here is a place reserved, sir. Where? Here, my good lord. What is that moves, Your Highness? Which of you have done this? What, my good lord? I can't say I did it. Never shake thy gory locks at me! Gentlemen, ladies, rise. His Highness is not well. Sir, worthy friends, my lord is often thus and hath been from his youth. Pray you, keep seat. He will again be well. If much you note him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. Feed and regard him not. Are you a man? I ain't a bold one that dare look on that which might appall the devil. Oh, proper stuff. This is the very painting of your fear. This is the air-drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. Shame itself. Why do you make such faces? When all's done, you look but on a stool. But these see there, behold, look low. How say you? If thou canst not speak to, if charnel houses and our graves will send those that we buried back, our monuments shall be the moors of kites. Not quite a man in folly. If I stood here, I saw him. I for shame. My worthy lord, your noble friends do lack you. I... I do forget. Do not muse at me, my most worthy friends. I have a strange infirmity which is nothing to those that know me. Come. Love and health to all, and to our dear dear friend Banquo, whom we miss. Would he were here. All and to all. All and to all. Is in the pledge. Ah! <laughs> Vault and quit my sight! Let the earth hide thee! Thy bones are marrowless, thy blood is cold! That has no speculation in the eyes that I despair with! Think of this, good peers, but uh, as a thing of custom. It is no other, only it spoils the pleasure of the time. What man dare, I dare, take any shape but that, and my firm nerves shall never tremble. I won't be alive again, and dare me to the desert with thy sword, unreal mockery, hence! Why? So? Being gone, I am a man again. Pray sit still! How now, you secret black and midnight hags? Answer me to what I ask you. Speak. Demand? Well, answer. Say if thou wouldst rather hear it from our mouths or from our masters. Call him. Let me see him. Come high or low, thyself and office deftly show. Macbeth, 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 beware, Macduff, beware the thane fight. Thou hast had my fear aright. But one word more. He will not be commanded. Here's another, more potent than the first. Be bloody, bold, and resolute, laugh to scorn the power of man, for none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Then live, Macduff, what need I fear of thee? But yet I make the assurance double sure, and I take the bond of fate. Thou shalt not live. What's this that rises like the issue of a king? Be lion metal proud, and take no care. Who chafes, who frets, or where conspirers are. Macbeth 
shall never vanquished be until great Burnham Wood to hide Dunsinane Hill shall come against him. That shall never be. Who can impress the forest? Bid the tree unfix its earthbound root. And my heart throbs to know one thing. Shall Banquo's issue ever reign this kingdom? Seek to know no more. Satisfied? Deny me this and an eternal curse fall on you. Show. Show. Show, Show his, his eyes and grieve his heart. Come like shadows, so depart. Thou art too like the spirit of Banquo down. Thy crown to sear mine eyeballs and thy hair. Thou other gold-bound brows like the first. A third is like the former. Filthy hags, why do you show me this? A fourth? Start eyes. What? Will the line stretch out to the crack of doom? Another yet, a seventh. I'll see no more. And yet the eighth appears, who bears a glass which shows me many more. Horrible sight. Now I see it is true, for the blood-bolted Banquo smiles upon me and points at them for his. Ah! <sighs> Where are they? Come in without there! What's your grace's will? Saw you the weird sisters. No, my lord. What? Came they not by you? No, indeed, my lord. Cut it, beat the air while they ride, and damned all that trust them. I, I did hear a galloping of horse. Who was it came by? It is two or three, my lord, to bring you word Macduff has fled to England. Fled to England. Ah, my lord. Time anticipate is my dread exploits. The castle of Macduff will I surprise. Seize upon Fife. Give to the edge of the sword his wife, his babes, and all unfortunates that trace him in his line. <laughs> no boasting like a fool. This deed I'll do before the purpose call. But no more sights. <laughs> 